Hey, hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Oh my gosh, you guys. Man, it, it, right now, <clears throat> as I record this video, it is minus 29 degrees outside. <clears throat> and it's like 17 degrees inside my house. It's like actually super cold in my house right now, you guys. I'm like, for a reason. I got a sweater on, you guys. I got a freaking blanket over my legs and everything. <laughs> ah, great. Look who it is. Look through my legs. <laughs> it's our best friend. I watched somebody do this fight in the HD remaster, and I I, I couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. That game looks. Don't you ever give up? That game looks so sin bad. Has chosen me. The HD remaster. I am part of sin. I am one with sin forever. Immortal! Immortal! Sin just absorbed you. I will learn to control it from within. I have all the time in the world. Since you were gracious enough to dispose of Unaleska, the only means of destroying sin is forever gone. Now nothing can stop us. Here we go. Well, we can. <coughs> By all means, try! All the mu the music in this fight is great. Fire. So the little panels behind him are the four elements, and basically if he lines all four of the elements up, he basically will just kind of cast that spell like it's his friggin' religion or something. <laughs> Start out with a haste step. Follow it up with the uh, none. Oh, if he is, <laughs> if he is susceptible to any of these three, then there we go. Which he is immune, but he's not immune to break his magic because that's all he really does in this fight. Uh, he's not immune to magic break. He's immune to um, uh, poison. And here we go, Firaga Madness. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he gives four. Hell yeah. Uh, <coughs> I was gonna hit his uh, little panels, but... Remember, he's uh, he's immune to poison, not the actual uh, technique that Orin is using. What you doing? There is no salvation for a dad. Rest in peace in eternal darkness. Oh, what's he gonna do? Mega death? Oh no! Oh, dispel. <coughs> That's not bad. Miss, miss. <laughs> I will destroy you. <laughs> but first, I will steal from you. <laughs> Ooh, shining gem. I think the shining gem teaches flare or ultima to an Aeon, if I remember. Which is very nice. Take a Kamari flare, punk. Yeah, 2,000. <laughs> 1,300. <laughs> yeah? Oh, no! Ultima! Oh! This is gonna suck. Ow, 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 Extreme ow. Don't you dare get another turn. Wait, who do I have here? Riku. We'll go Mega Potion. I was gonna use an Albed, but 
Mega Potion is 2,000. <laughs> we need HP. Real bad. Change. He's out of water. Ah, he needs to be armor broken, I see. But let us not uh, forget that Orin still needs haste. Damn it, I need armor break. <laughs> Please do not kill. Do not kill. <laughs> oh. Come on. So much HP. Armor breaking. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I watched somebody do this fight in the HD remaster version. <laughs> It just made me laugh. That it looks so horrible. It's so lifeless. The HD remaster version, they all look like uh they look like mannequins or something. It's really sad. Now, you to send him. Right. Yeah, once and for all. Yeah, this time she gets to complete the ritual. Send me. For the last time. But even after I am gone, Spira's sorrow will prevail. <laughs> Goodbye, Seymour. And yes, that does mean that he's gone for Sarah, good. I'll be right behind you. Oh, hell yes. Oh, this game is so epic. God damn. And he's gone. You're gone for good, if you're wondering. Once you get sent, you are gone. He's off to the far plane now. Alright, you guys. This is actually the final, technically the final area in the game to actually walk through. Uh, should we do the, the glyphs? The glyphs? Oh, that's not cool. I don't know if we should actually fight this fight, to be fair. We have quite a bit of turns. I'm gonna try. We might get a game over here. It's gonna suck if we do. Oh wait, let's, um... Save some MP. Oh, please. If it gets to do bad breath, we're basically screwed, so... <laughs> and there's a lot more turns. Um. Oh no. <laughs> Save MP. I'm always thinking to go to Flare so quick. Flare's just like that option, you know what I'm saying? I uh, no. No turns for you, sir. Um. Yeah. Oh. 
Um, <laughs> we just killed ourselves a great Malboro, you guys. That's a big killer right there. Ooh, what's that ominous gonna have? Dark and sleep. That's pretty cool. We have to be real careful in here. <coughs> Some of the enemies in here, uh, just like the last area as well, can uh, spur a game over pretty fast. Which is, obviously, you guys know by now, that's like the worst thing that can happen while I'm trying to record a friggin' YouTube video. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> um, oh, that's right, she's going backwards. Uh, yes. Just got confused a little for a moment there. Is he finished Kamari's? He is. Well, he needs that. We will come back to you, sir. He has finished Kamari's, so I just have to figure out what to do with him. Okay. Uh, probably end up sending him through uh, Waka's, considering uh, you can get to the, this is literally the beginning of Waka's Sphere Red. Like, Waka literally, I think Waka starts right there, to be honest with you. Or does he start on top of Dark Attack? I think he starts here. Can't remember. Anyways, that's what we're gonna do. So let's bring him over here, and then we're gonna go down through here through Waka stuff, which will uh, make Titus a little bit stronger uh, towards the end of the game there, uh, depending on how much we, we fight, because this is actually the last area, uh, technically the last area in the game. There's one area after this uh, where there's like these icicle things that pop up from the ground, and if the icicle things hit you, you get into a fight, but then there's these gems that pop up, and you have to grab ten of the gems, and then you get teleported to the last boss. Just, uh, you know, not not a spoiler or anything like that, but just to let you guys know that that's the, we are at the end here. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, uh, so this thing here, there's actually three doors that are all locked one after the other, and in order to open each one of them, you have to defeat ten enemies. So... I am not going to sit here and make three friggin' YouTube videos of us standing here fighting 30 goddamn enemies to open that door. I know what's behind it, it's a treasure box containing a level 4 key sphere. Okay, you guys? But we are not doing that goddamn shit. Because that takes like a friggin' 45 minutes to, uh, just to open those doors, so... Not happening. <laughs> not in a YouTube video, just to get a level 4 key sphere, you understand what I'm trying to say? It's a bit much. But there are some other items in here that we are going to pick up. Oh, great. So this is a Barbados. They just have an ass ton of HP. It's gonna hurt. Yeah. We gave him something there. He was immune. He was immune to something, and he was not immune to something else. You could hear the effect noise take place. These things are pretty crazy, if you're wondering. <laughs> they can do some pretty crazy stuff. But you just hit him with that armor break. Yeah, this does a crap ton of damage. <laughs> Give me some variants. <laughs> you got a whole lot of HP, my man. Yeah, all the enemies in here are like little mini boss fights. <laughs>
Oh. Did we use Yuna? Can't remember if we used Yuna or not, but... Oh yeah, we did. Oh well. It's over anyway. Pretty much as well, though, you basically get a full team level up <laughs> in almost every one of these fights. I believe the uh, experience cap in this game is like 21 or 23,000 or something. Can't remember. But no matter how many levels you get, it, it maxes out at like 23,000 that you'll need for the next level every time. Which, as you can see, is basically one fight in this place. <laughs> Alright, so she is finally breaking into uh, Eunice. There's actually only one more save point in the entire game, if you guys are wondering. We really are at the end. We need to save some uh, MP there. Start using some of these items that we're not really going to need. Let's head off in this direction first. Nothing there. Good. Huh. <clears throat> Kinda wanna move fast in here because these fights are a little bit uh, arduous. Uh, just looking at the map. Here we are. Huh. Uh, and then we were getting hit. I remember that we have to like stand on these platforms or something like that for a few seconds, and then it like it's like an elevator. All right. Oh, one for you and one for you. Of course he does the he does flash. Cause I had double double guard so he can't hit me with confuse. So he hit us with flash instead. Holy. The lock is getting pretty strong. These little things, if you stand on them for a couple seconds or something like that? Yeah. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Defending Bracer, you guys. Dark and Death Proof. That's actually not bad. If you added, uh, you know, a few more things to that, that'd be a pretty decent armor. <laughs> Alright. I know there's a treasure box in the little open spot at my feet there. We are going to get into a fight, like, the next step I take, so I'm just kind of... <laughs> uh, let's go left and around. Yeah, I knew it. I damn well knew We didn't even take one step. Oh, great. It's a king behemoth. Oh, we know what to do here. Uh, oops, it is. No, I didn't mean to do that! Oh, we could, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I can't risk that game over by fighting those. I know, like, it's an enemy and blah blah blah, but it does a, um... If you don't know, it does a move called Mete Meteor when you kill it. And Meteor can literally wipe your whole team. And I, <laughs> I don't want to catch a game over. Thank you. Uh, you know what, let's get the slow with the uh, first turn, see if that actually works. Bad boy's immune, because my boy Kamari can always do a haste good for us. <laughs> oh, we're trying to save MP here. Running low.
Ace is going to get the other two. It's probably empty. Ooh, HP by 20. You know what? If we give this thing the basics, it'll be uh, much better than uh, what he had before. Anything cool? No. Let's do this. Seventy-six hundred HP. Orin has seven thousand six hundred HP. You guys, <laughs> that's a really good set of armor we just got there. Nice little upgrade. Always, uh, <laughs> always down for upgrades. Do we have any uh, special spheres or anything? We got an MP sphere. We have a luck sphere and a fortune sphere. Ooh. No. Nope. I almost used that. to have the MP for. Let's do... Please be next to an empty node, my man. Because Kamari is, uh, even at this point in the game, still kind of weak, um... Giving him luck is like one of the smartest things that you can do. Because then he'll start hitting critical hits constantly, right? Doing twice as much damage every time he attacks is obviously better. 7,600 HP, look at Orin, you guys. What? That's that new armor we just picked up there. Huh. 20 grand. I know. <laughs> Actually kind of made me jump a little bit. I think there's, uh, yeah, a couple more triagers over here. Ooh, an HP sphere. Who has the lowest HP? Riku! Very nice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Just run the play. Trying to save MP here. <laughs> Light him up. Good old haste gun in. God dang. 
Haste can sure as hell uh, changes the fight. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Even more HP for Orin. Have anything else, or was that it? We will actually pop this might as well. Nice, more HP for Riku. Very nice. Nice little upgrade there for Riku. HP is going through the roof now, you guys. 78, 70. Uh, huh. And then it's a uh, huh. And a uh, huh. <laughs> a defense sphere. What an upgrade for Riku. <laughs> Riku just got a whole lot stronger there in the last one level. Um, there we go. Uh, if you're wondering where we are, we're on the we're in the city that is on Sin's back. If you guys remember, there's like a city, a little city <laughs> on Sin's back. That's actually where we are. We're like, well, we're kind of underground, though. We're in, like, underneath the city. Because we're inside Sin, right? Uh-oh. Damn you. That actually worked. Please do 999999 or at least 8,000. Perfect. <laughs> Good night. And if we hadn't have killed him on that turn, Titus would have died there. And it's almost useless to even friggin' fight those things. Let's pop a single ether. Let's get a mega potion. I really gotta watch my uh, HP levels here, you guys. Uh, it's, uh, huh. Nothing. Huh. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Man, he is going to get to do uh, bad breath. Well, yeah, he's going to get to do bad breath. I'll be right back. I can't risk that. <laughs> we are literally at the end of the fucking episode. Here. <laughs> I can't risk uh, getting a game over. I know uh, their first attack in their log is is literally bad breath, which is like uh, the most ridiculous move in Final Fantasy 
history like it, it has ruined more days than I can really think of any other move that has ruined days more than Bad Breath. I really can't. Uh, Bad Breath causes virtually every status effect in the game. So it's, I mean, your team basically just isn't your team all of a sudden, right? All the all start killing each other and, and there's just so many problems all at once that it's like you don't even get a turn, right? You just watch your team literally kill itself. So it's not very good. <laughs> That's why I ran there because he was going to do it right after that turn. If I had, if I, imagine if I had a hit flea there and it had a failed, bro, we would have caught a game over right there. But anyways, we are at a half an hour, so uh, thank you guys for coming up and watching this episode of Final Fantasy X. You guys do me a favor, leave a like on the video, maybe even subscribe to the channel. Other than that, freaking love you, and I wish you the total best. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. See you guys next one. Bye, bye.